Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to my channel. But before we get into the two strand twist, I'm going to introduce you to this awesome app I've been using called Frotorial. It's about a community of um, young black people that share different hair tips, ideas, and discussions. And my name is also Crown Vic, and here's my profile. Go ahead and download and follow me. Mm, look at this. Well, this is after I did my L-O-C-O. Just to find Brufo. Brufo. Look at the texture. But I've been having trouble on um, like moisturizing the middle kind of. It's like you see it's more puffy in the middle than the ends and the roots. I'm going to get to it. We going on this journey together, y'all. Okay. All right. Let's get into the tutorial. First, we're going to start off with clean hair. And we're going to part it into fours. Roughly doesn't have to be perfect if you're a perfectionist and you want perfect parts you can do that but I don't want to I don't care I feel like it looks more natural that way so make sure you just have some extra stuff some scrunchies and especially a towel so you won't get all your stuff wet all right and split that into two Ooh, look at this. And get out your face. I must be thinking about my man. I hope he getting Jack in the Box today. You know I don't want the poppers today. I'm gonna get churro with the garlic liver. <laughs> Only if I had one. But anyways, you gonna get your spray bottle. How do I know the spray bottle's coming up? And you're going to spray your hair with um, aloe vera juice. I mix my aloe vera juice with water and a little bit of peppermint oil to open up the shaft and moisturize. Peppermint is very drying, so I just did this mixture just in case. I'll let you know how it works out for me. This is my leave-in. This is the L of the L-O-C-O. And we're going to put a dial of some leave-in conditioner. We're going to spread it from the ends to the roots and it's very silky i love the way it smells and i just lather up my hair and it makes my hair super defined and pretty i really like it a lot i love um michelle's line it's all organic and i only put organic things in my hair now i don't use ingredients with alcohol or sulfates or anything like that so i think that's really helped my hair come a long way changing what i put in my hair and also what i put in my body so I'm going to gently detangle the hair with a wide tooth comb and combing it out after um, I feel if I put different applications in or different products in, um, it helps distribute each product even, evenly, 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 distributes all the products evenly. So put the leave-in conditioner and gently stroke your hair with your hands and or your comb. Now I'm going to put the O. This is my um, moisturizing oil. Now make sure when you're doing this you don't want to put a sealant oil in there because if you do it's going to seal your hair off and not contribute to the rest of the products you're going to put in your hair. So just make sure you're putting a moisturizing oil in. And this is um, my Danon brush. I love 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 this brush because it coats all the hair shops evenly and it leaves my hair looking springy. Boing. It just looks so pretty. I love a Danon brush um, every time I do my hair. This is one of the only brushes that I use. And as you can see, it coats each hair shaft. And it's very defined and beautiful and curly. And also, I love just running my hair through because it's just so velvety and smooth. I love this combo, especially the Michelle. -y. So next, I'm going to use the the G part. I said L-O-C-O, -O, but I meant G. Sorry. I'm using a gel. The Camille Curl Maker is a good gel if you want your curls to be softer and you're defined, if that makes sense. Because sometimes if you use like an Echo Gel, your curls are hard, but this gel leaves your curls softer um, than it does with the Echo Gel. 
and it still has a nice defined curl, but it is like softer to the touch uh, versus a different gel that you would use like for your edges or something. Um, I don't know. I just like it better because it uses. It just depends on the look you want to have. Because sometimes I don't mind like a wash and go with hard um, defined curls, but I do like a softer look as well. Like especially if you, other people touching your hands, like dang, your hair hard. But I like the soft curls. So also after that, um, stroke your hair with your Danon brush or Y2 comb on your fingers just to evenly distribute your product. And this is what it looks like with the LOG. Nice and defined curls, even like I said, um, the, the top of my hair after the roots, I was kind of puffy. You can see that it's a little bit more moisturized after the gel. You can see right there. Yeah, you see that puffy part right there? I probably put some more gel right there or some more insulin on it. But yeah, super defined and super pretty. Love it so much. But wait, there's one more. I'm going to add a sealant oil which is jojoba oil that's a great sealant oil and the reason being is because I'm not going to take out my twists just in the winter time I like to wear my twists my twist outs but I don't out it so it's just my twists because I don't out it but yeah I put the sealant oil just so it can last a little bit longer when I have my twist out so it can last the full week and I don't have to do my hair for the rest of the week I can just rock it at work, the grocery store, or anything, my lazy, my lazy day. So now I'm going to two strand twist um, my hair. So what you do for beginners that don't know how to two strand twist, you want to grab in dime sections or quarter sections and just twist your hair as tight as possible. The tighter you twist, the longer it's going to last. And it will get, when you release your twist, it will get puffier, if that's the right description. Like it'll, it won't be as tight when you let go, versus a braid will it stay. I'm here. I'm trying to show you how I twist. How I'm grabbing it. So I'm handing it off with the index and thumb, and that's how I hold it. And I'm grabbing with the index and thumb, passing it to the middle finger, and the middle finger in the right hand is passing it to the index and that's how you two trans twist or well, how I two trans two strand twist quickly and how I've learned because before my hands was looking a hot mess but now it's just rolling look at that coil sexy you gotta kiss it mm -hmm. yeah I know I'm a little late but don't all right that's a huge piece but who cares go on and twist it separate into twos that middle finger is going to grab it and pass it over to the index. And you just keep on twisting. As you twist, make sure the hair is untangled below. So all the juices are sticking to the strands. You don't want to twist tangled hair. Make sure the hairs are smooth as you're twisting down all the way to, down to the bottom and when you get to the bottom and you can't twist anymore curl it around your finger and bloop Ooh, look at that coil Ooh, i like that one can you tell mm, mm, victory dance all right finish off the section of your hair and it'll look a little something like this it'll dry like this if you do the LLC method, um, this style was a little, the length retained quite a bit. But I'm done with this section. Looks pretty good. Nice and moisturized and defined. Very pretty Juicy curls. Tendrils. I like it a lot. Juicy tendrils. Now we just got to mm. do the same thing to your whole head. Mm. It's only going to take about an hour. Or and a half. Maybe two. That's how fast them fingers moving. You're going to want to do this tutorial again if you want to cut that time in half. And bam, we're done with the whole head just like that. Finish up the last curl. You see how I messed up on the one that's on my neck? You see that big gap? It's okay. That's what, well, that's what happens when your fingers do it. All right, twist all the way to the end. And when you can't twist anymore or your fingers is numb, you just coil it around and bloop, got a little coil. 
And this is the finished look. Done all sections with the L-O-G-O. And there we have it. You can wear it out like this. Or if you're not comfortable, ladies, wearing a twist out out in public. Because sometimes, you know, you don't want to show it off like that. I didn't used to like wearing it, but now I don't care. I rock my twist. I love my hair. I don't mind the looks and the stares. I love my twist out. And I don't care who watches, who sees. I'm proud of my hair. I love it. And I rock it like this all week. And to top it all off in the pretty look, you can put it up half up and down with your edges on fleek. And this is exactly how I wear it out. I wear it up, down, side to side. Watch me do the butterfly with some edges, okay? And I know I look good. Mmm, yeah, yeah. Rock that look, honey. Do them edges on fleek and curl up again. Super easy and simple. Perfect winter protective style. Low cost on money. This is my minimum shedding. I know sometimes you guys like to see the shedding. But that's all it was. Not too bad with wash day and the comb out. So thank you guys so much for watching my twist out tutorial. If you guys want to keep in touch with me and watch my daily life, please follow me on IG, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'll see you guys in later. Bye.